So we're going to add some watercolour to our mono print today. Um, you can't really add watercolour to your doodle design if you've fine lined it. You would be better with pencil crayons because the fine liner will run. Um, for your watercolour, you're going to need your paints, your tin lid because that's your palette, some blue towel, obviously brushes and your water pot. So pick a colour scheme using the colour wheel. I would pick four or five colours max of things that you're going to know are going to look lovely together and that are next to each other and they're going to blend. If some of your colours are dirty like that, you just give them a little wash over the water pot and they should come out quite nice and clean. So you can just wash them away. Okay. So I'm going to pick similar colours to what I did on my homework project, which was turquoises, blues, pinks and purples. So my lightest colour is pink, so I'm going to start with that first of all. When you are mixing your colours, plenty of water on the colour block. Okay, wash that off a bit. And you're going to mix it in your tin lid. And the reason for this is because you've no idea if that is light or dark pink on that brush. So now I'm putting it on my tin lid. I can see it's quite pale and that's going to be a good starting off. Right, so I'm going to start with this shape here, holding the brush on the metal part. I'm then going to go around all the edges like this, keeping my brush inside the shape. I could do my edge like that, but 90% of my bristles are in the shape next to it. So I'm probably going to go outside of my line. So I'm going to keep turning my page over. I also get a thicker line when I do it this way, which means it's faster. And I'm going to put a little base coat of pink and I might do the other half of the hair a different colour. I'm going to mix a darker pink now for shadow. And where those lines are, start to put some dark pink in. And because it's already wet, it's going to naturally bleed. Wash my brush. Dab it on the paper towel. So it's nice and dry and now just fade those shades of pink together. When that's dried, I'm going to go in with the third colour of purple. Okay, so I'm going to do a turquoisey blue on the next one. So mix a nice light shade, do my edges. And start to add my colours through there. Another good thing with watercolour paint is once it's dried and if you want to work into it with pencil crayons over the top so it becomes a mixed media piece, so two different medias, then that works really nicely. Pencil crayon sits on top of the paint really well. Go in with a bit darker and a bit darker there. Wash, dab, and blend. 